Hello, people. It's nice to see you guys. I'm glad you guys came by. I wanted to show you this. Uh, we're working on this thing that you wave your hands over and under and under these sensors. Oh, and uh, so we have lights and stuff inside there. And so um, there's a piece that holds our lights. This is a regular white LED light, but inside that we have uh, infrared LED lights. And I'll show you that in a couple minutes. But um, check this out, this is awesome. This is the first thing that I've ever designed uh, 3D uh, in 3D software and um, the guy that I'm working with to build this thing, he has a friend that owns a, a 3D printer. And so um, I measured everything in millimeters, uh, in hundreds of millimeters, hundreds, hundreds of a millimeter, and uh, wrote it all down and uh, put it together in something called uh, something called Tinkercad. This is a 3D printing, um, um, or 3D printing, 3D design um, software. And I designed this in two different pieces. There's the base plate, the holder. You'll notice that one hole is larger than the other one. That's the side that has the infrared light in it, and the smaller hole holds this thing, which is the, um, <clears throat> uh, what's it called? Let me see if I can get it back over close to us. Okay, let's click on it and make it go clear. Okay, we can even zoom in. Mm. I learned how to use this in just by watching just a couple videos and I'm going to put those videos in the uh, description down below for you guys to see. Now let me see if I can, well anyways, you can see this is a hollow tube and inside it has a lip, it has a lip right here. That's what holds the, uh, the lens. And then up here at the top, this part, uh, this is a hole. Yeah. Okay, well, sorry, this, uh, this uh, program's kind of wonky for me to use. I'm still not perfectly used to it. I'm sure there's other functions. Anyways, you can see that there's a hole here. So, anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Tinkercad. It's, oh, yeah, the guy's name is Cam. <laughs> this is Tinkercad, tinkercad.com. Things and, yeah, Cam's project, okay. But Tinkercad, um, this is free. This is free, and it's very easy. It uses um, different shapes on the on this side and there's a lot of other different tools for different uh, types of shapes characters uh, connectors featured all there's uh, special shapes that people have made and uh, here's a dinosaur and a skeleton apparently too so uh, anyways and uh, <clears throat> you put an object out there okay yeah okay well I just let me undo that okay just uh, grab this and then put it over here and there you go it can be uh, an actual solid or it can be a hole which means um, as a solid um, it's a solid but if you make it into a hole then you can then you can use that hole to subtract a part from another piece. Okay, now we select both of these pieces. 
and uh, we group them together and there you go now the hole has sliced out a pace a place from this thing so there you go there's a quick small easy tutorial on how this works but um, I'll put um, uh, I'll put video links to this Tinkercad I'll put video links to this Tinkercad in the description so that you guys can see the same videos that I saw to be able to um, uh, learn how to use Tinkercad in 30 minutes and actually design a piece that can eventually be 3D printed by cool people that have 3D printers. I'll get my own 3D printer one day. Anyways, so, okay. All right, yes. Um, all right, so we have our LED. Our LED goes in the LED hole. Let me see, uh, is this? Okay, yeah, I'm take it and put it in so that it's like that. Try to push it in so it's perfectly flat with the top. It's not perfectly flat, but this isn't going to be the final LED that we're leaving in this. I'm just putting this white LED in here. You can see there's the white LED chip. I'm just putting this white LED in here um, for right now so we can see what it looks like. All right. So, yeah, there we go. All right. Now, uh, we have a lens. This lens is 15.13 millimeters wide and I had to make the hole for it, this hole right here, 15.13 uh, millimeters, I had to make this 15.23 millimeters, just one tenth of a millimeter wider than the, uh, than the actual lens. Sorry I'm touching this lens it's killing my OCD I hate touching lenses because I don't want to get my stupid finger grease on them but uh okay so 15 millimeters wide seven millimeters tall um, I'll put this in there in a second but here I want you to look inside the hole can is my thing able to focus down inside of the hole I don't know if it's able to focus inside of the hole you know what? I showed you the overall of this. I'm going to put on the I'm going to put on the micro lens. I think it's called macro whatever. So it's going to it's going to make things bigger. Hold on. Okay. I've got the macro lens on. Now we can look at this thing. Oh my god, it's out of focus. No, it's not out of focus. It's just too far away for the lens to see. Look at this, this is the inside of the hole. You see that I have a lip right there. And that lip uh, holds up our um, uh, our lens uh, exactly 10, 10 millimeters away from the sensor. Okay, and there's our light here. Let's take this and show you what this looks like up close. Eh, it just looks like uh, yellow powder inside of a globe. That's our white LED. All right. Yeah, look at this. This is amazing. These uh, pieces I made, these were two separate pieces. And it's, uh, um, and uh, I made the hole just one tenth of a millimeter larger than the piece. And the person that printed this was able to fit this in, and it fit in there perfectly. Pretty snug, they said. So that's pretty awesome. You can see the um, the filaments of the plastic. How uh, the printer lays down the filaments. Like uh, right here, you see that it doesn't just go straight through. It comes up here gets to a point and then goes back around and it comes back around it comes back to that point and then goes back around like that and uh, that's pretty interesting and the same thing with this smaller um, this uh, smaller thing that's inside here 
Yeah, I think it was... Yeah, like right there, that's like the starting and ending point of the of uh, the plastic. So it would go around, and then it would go to there, and then it would stop and go back around, and then it would come back around, and then it, instead of just going in a straight circle around the whole piece. So that's amazing. So anyways, yeah. Oh, this, this is kind of neat. There is like 20 or 21 layers here on this little piece. This piece is about three millimeters tall from, from up there to down there. From there to there is about three millimeters tall. And it's about 20 or 21 layers uh, right there of plastic, which is interesting. 20 or 21 layers in, in, uh, in, uh, what's it called? And three millimeters is a pretty small layer height. That's pretty cool. It's very precise. This is the back where, uh, the LED gets, uh, the LED, the uh, sensor is held. That hole is five millimeters wide. We can actually see the filaments, the way it was laid down. It went around a couple times. Yeah, it went around a couple times and looks like it probably stopped and went back and forth maybe. No, nah, it looks like it went all the way around. And then these parts, the edges, what it does is it goes around the edge and makes a border and then it just goes and fills in <laughs> back and forth that is so cool all right uh okay so here let's take our lens yeah here there's our lens you get to see it up close pretty neat huh yeah i got my disgusting monkey finger grease all over all over that so I'm gonna take the lens and put it inside the hole this hole is so perfect <laughs> that the lens the lens fits in there perfectly okay all right so uh, that's pretty much together I think this is the end of this uh, oh, okay, here. And here's an LED, which is uh, five millimeters wide, which is the same size as a sensor. And that LED is going to go fit inside of our, fit inside the hole right there. And that's where the, that's where the sensor goes. So the sensor is going to be on this side and the LED is going to be, the infrared LED is going to be on this side. Okay. Uh, I guess part two is coming up in a minute then. Bye.